What's going on guys, Krahu here and Awakening is upon us and so is Skyjacked. Uh, this is the DLC map that everybody has been waiting for, Skyjacked. The remake of Hijack from Black Ops 2. And in the beginning I got confused as to where to go because I remembered Hijack from, you know, Black Ops 2 and I was like, oh I thought you could have gone there, but then I remembered that this is a reimagining, so not everything is the same obviously. Um, in the description guys is my Twitter be sure to follow me there my twitch TV follow me there for all my streams And this was the very 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 first game. I just come back uh, came back from work. I downloaded the awakening map pack um, hopped on the multiplayer and You know try to get some gameplay So this is the very very first time that I've ever played on skyjacked so everything is very foreign to me, ooh, foreign and scary. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to click the like button, I would appreciate that very much. And leave your guys' opinions, if you do have the map pack, what do you guys think of it? I will leave my opinions, obviously, in this video, so I hope that you enjoy it, and maybe you share my opinion. Okay, first things first, uh, before I actually move on to the, to the actual maps, the matchmaking. It is... After the patch, uh, let's just get it out of the way, you know, elephant in the room, let's just address it and not talk about it again. The matchmaking, it is fucking horrendous right now. And I'm not even talking about the matchmaking that they are that they implemented. I mean, clearly they've implemented some sort of skill-based matchmaking, which, you know, to some degree is fucking ridiculous because when I downloaded the patch, I was going for like... Um, for the challenges on the HVK and blah blah, that gun is ridiculous anyway. But I was going for some fucking long shots and whatever. Um, and then with the optic and five attachments, yada yada yada. And I've been thrown in lobbies with such fucking major tryhards. I mean, w way more, way more than me. And I have a 2.5 KD, which is fine, you know, to to play, you know, with like players of similar similar skill set. But when the entire lobby is like that. I love doing challenges in Black Ops 3, and that shit made it absolutely impossible, so that was, that's a big no-no, I hope they, they do something with the matchmaking to fucking make it work, because it was ridiculous. And on the DLC, um, the matchmaking seemed to stay the same, maybe not everybody has the DLC yet, obviously not everybody has the DLC yet, but it was the same deal, and it's not connection based anymore, I don't care what they said, um, it was, you know, there's a, Everybody was lagging all over the place, by the way. I mean, everybody was lagging, um, you know, here and there. So I played on Gauntlet about two times, and the second time, two or three times. And, you know, I only played in peace, like, once, because every lobby was just laggy, and it was just, ugh. But how is this map? So I hope they address the matchmaking issue. How is this map? This map is very fun. It is very fun. It's, it's hijacked, you know. And going back to hijack from Black Ops 2, uh... Like I said in my previous video, that map was 50-50 to me, so if it got skipped, I didn't give a shit. If it didn't get skipped, whatever, let's play it. Uh, and this is pretty much the same case. It, it seems like a fun map. It's a very fun, open map. It, it, I mean, obviously, when you have hijacked in your head, you know where to go, kind of, sort of. But if you don't, it's a very, you know, linear Black Ops 3 map. Uh, with some, uh, you know, elements of like wall running, I think I'm going to showcase a little bit of the map uh, after I die because I wanted to go on a nice kill streak. I got a little bit campy, but I really wanted my wraith, so I hope that excuses it. I don't know. Uh, so the map is very fun. The very first game on the DLC I played was on on Rise, and that map is it, good. It's very very good. That map is very good. You know what was which map was underwhelming? Uh, Gauntlet. That map was really underwhelming. Um, I played on it the most from the DLC, from whatever I played. I'm going to bed soon because I have a full day of work tomorrow um, and I have to wake up early. But from what I saw, I mean, the, the jungle element of the map, it, it's just a sliver. It's like the right side of the map or the left side, depending where you spawn. And it's just a sliver. It's like an alleyway and that's it. The middle is a little bit of snow. And then you have the industrial area and the urban area, which is... Okay, that's where most of the fighting happens anyway. People, from what I saw, people camped the most in in the jungle area. Uh, snow was kind of a no-man's land where you know, only a very few people 
uh, only very few people traveled there and you know the the industrial park and and the freaking the machinery the the factory was where most of the fighting took place i may be wrong obviously people will adapt uh splash was mm, it was okay splash was okay there's gonna be a lot to get used to with that map very very weird lines of sights i mean it's a very different map than from other you know maps that we have in the game very different now i don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing i have to get used to it because i only played it twice and people camped like fucking bitches but i can't blame them due to the fact that um you know everybody's new to the map yada 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 which is fine um so we have splash risen gauntlet and skyjacked skyjacked very fun again we're playing on it right now and i decided to showcase this map a little bit over here uh, just to show you guys that area where everybody wall runs. I think I'm going to wall run on it very soon if I didn't already because I wasn't really paying attention because I was like moving my hands and I got into the commentary very much. So I even forgot that I had a freaking trip mine. We destroy these guys by the way, but trust me when I say this matchmaking is funky, man. Like there's something off-putting about it and I can't pinpoint it. Like let the... you. <laughs> I hope Treyarch saw what happened to Advanced Warfare with this skill-based matchmaking bullshit, so hopefully they'll stay away from it. If they did implement it to do their sick, twisted experiments, how the public will take it, I hope they'd take it back, man, because this game was very fun, very casual, and for the first fucking time in all my Call of Duty history since, I don't know, since Black Ops 1, I, and I didn't even do that many challenges in that game, and it was my favorite, um, for the first time, Krahu's having fun with the challenges. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to get all my uh, diamond weapons, all my uh, golden weapons, get the dark matter camo, get all my specialists level up, and when everybody is just such a fucking tryhard, where I have to whip out the, you know, not the most overpowered setup, but the setup that I feel very comfortable with, like this one, that I call my quote-unquote tryhard setup, it's not that fun. It, does, it, it stops being fun. And look, this is a pretty cool area, and I turn to the left to showcase the map a little bit. Very beautiful, very, very pretty. Um, I wanted to show that little smoking engine over there. So the map is very pretty. If you if you haven't doubts about this map pack, it's okay. It, it's a it's a fresh it's a breath of fresh air from all the vanilla maps that we got. And on the PS4, actually, Exodus made its return, which I'm kind of happy about because you know Exodus was not a great map, but it was a nice change of pace from Combine. You know what I mean? So it wasn't Combine 24/7. And this map pack is a breath of fresh air. And just for a split second, I fired up zombies. I fired up the new zombies map. Oh man, that atmosphere in that map was fantastic. So um, during my live stream, I will actually be playing zombies as well. Um, I'm very intrigued by this map. It, it looks very, very fun. So final score on this one. I ugh, Shit, I can't tell. Because I, <laughs> I left the win preview window a little bit too. Now it's even smaller. God damn it. Get back here. I think it was like 36 and, and something, but... 36 and 6, something like that, or 37 and 6, maybe a little bit more. I can't remember. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave your opinions uh, about the map pack. Leave your guys' thoughts. Um, if you do, of course, own it. This was Krahu. See you guys next time.